So what's troubled to be with us from Sydney? I'm so delighted that you made the effort to come. I'm, I'm just beyond thrilled. Thank you, Ward. Uh, Ward's had a wildly diverse practice and it's really hard to collapse for working through a few introductory lines. Um, but look, Ward's been involved in production of radical art with a commitment to creativity for over four decades. After completing study in art and design at Deakin University in 1979, she moved to a post-punk Sydney and has been exhibiting and performing since the 1980s, including at the Art Unit, which was hugely influential to a generation of artists. Walt's worked in illustrations, cartoons, graphic design. She famously did the um, Midnight Earl's Diesel and Dust cover, which won awards at the Aria. Um, and uh, she's uh, installation, performance and poetry. And uh, I just am privileged to show these bathtub babes because I think Walt just paints pain, she paints joy, fear. And uh, you know, I have to mention that you've got somewhat of a cult status <laughs> for your work. Um, with, with raw emotion and expressivity. Um, also to mention is uh, from 2010 to 2012, Ward established and ran a working artist studio for people living with mental illness at Daintree Lodge in the Roselle Hospital. In 2018, she undertook an artist residency in Venice, Italy, and another later that year at Candosper, um, Janetta, 19. Uh, so let's start with the work for this show, Bathtub Babes. Who doesn't love a bath? <laughs> Hands up. <laughs> um, I have got one. I used to have one about 30 years ago and I had had bath parties. And they were just a celebration, but they were just a place where you could be by yourself, you're vulnerable, you're in your own space, and you just hung in there and got wrinkle bum. <laughs> <laughs> But it was just a nice place, a warm place to be. And when Naomi asked me to do this, um, I was working in my kitchen in the hallway beside a piano. It's very full on my house. Um, and so it's, it's quite interesting actually seeing them big in a space where you can see them where at home, my place was so busy that I couldn't actually see what I was doing, really. But um, yeah, I was exploring the bigness of bodies and why they're like that and how, they, how you can relax and be vulnerable that you're most in the bath, basically. I, I saw this amazing moment of repose and um, sensuality and you said to me, but the bathtub's also where your secrets are. <laughs> well, I won't go there. <laughs> work that um, shows some of the menace at work behind some of your images, I think it's really interesting, which is called Secret Phases of Fear, and you showed that in a work with Carla Dickens in Liz Moore some time ago. Can you talk about that series? Oh, that's, um, I'm a really good loopy, I'm a schizoaffective in real life, but um, that was a time in hospital where I was hospitalised in three different hospitals for four months, it was a horrible, horrible time. I had no idea where I was, no one told me. And these are faces, faces of just horror. And it was, I did that, not there, but while, when I came out, it just came out of me really quickly. There's 24 of them all up. But yeah, that was a, um, a massive purge to a horrible time, yeah. Um, performance has been a consistent way of working for you. You've done quite a few different things. Uh, there's work that you've done at performance space. Um, breathing in, breathing out is one of them. You've also worked with plastic, black plastic. Oh, hide under it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you talk a bit about your performance? Um, I've done a, a bit of collaborative work, one with Javier Tellez, which was with he worked with 12 of us loopies and um, we did the Passion of Joan of Arc and we turned it into what it would be like to be in Roselle Hospital at that time. From that group, it was a while ago and I've taken a lot of drugs since then and that's not my just choice of drugs, it's what was thrown down my throat or injected into my system. Um, 
Um, so I forget a lot about uh, lots of different things, but um, we formed a group called The Ark, and that's how I set up the art school. We had um, writers and all sorts of different groups, but I tell you what, I'm never going to work with a whole bunch of loopies again en masse. We lost it. Can you believe it? We lost a great school going through, yeah. yeah. Power struggles. <laughs> you get one loopy guy off, and then you never know where you're going to end up. Um, well, you mentioned uh, working with Javier Tellez, and also um, the uh, you've done performances too with uh, in collaboration with Lily Hibbert. Lily Hibbert. Yeah. yeah, that was just for fun. It was looking at what Lavender Bay, which is where um, Luna Park is. And they used to use that space there. They had boats come in and the boats would harbour the inmates for jails, for people with a mental illness, for anyone who looked odd. They put them on the barges in Lavender Bay. And so it was, I wrote some poetry about it and we performed. I was never allowed in. I was the only one not allowed in to Luna Park to actually have fun. But um, that was the gist of the whole performance itself. Mm. It was um, it was an interesting performance. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned performance, and um, did you want to talk about some of your performance with performance space or art unit? Um, I started. The reason why I got into performance was because I had studios up until two thousand and twelve which was when we had the art school, but I've had studios for 30 years before then. And so living in my flat, I couldn't make a lot of work. So what I thought I could do was perform. And so that's how performance really came about. I utilized just, well, I can write and I can work off for poetry and that sort of thing. Yeah, you've got amazing musical sense as well. And you use your body a lot. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit physical. I used to be huge. I've lost weight. <laughs> I've got a new doctor who's taken me off heaps of drugs. I love her. <laughs> and um, it's amazing what, if you let them give you, the drugs they give you can really, really stuff you around. And I was on a batch of drugs for six years that were injections that made me shake even more than I am now. I could do hand jobs too at once. <laughs> 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 if they better. Sorry, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> well, this is a bit off topic, but you told me that you have to paint at a certain time of day. Yeah, because if I'm too shaky, and yeah. I just got a studio, I'm so happy, and um, yeah, I'm drawing. Been... It's been a massive year because um, Walt was one of the inaugural recipients of Art and Disability Award from the Australian Council. So you've got a space now. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, up the loopies. Um, yeah, which is fantastic. And I'm working on it's a mentoring project. So I'm working on um, putting my cartoons and drawings and writings into book format. Just as another, I'm working with publishers and illustrators, and so just another format for me to to try out. But at the moment, I'm working on a show for Kofa called the Big Anxiety Festival. Anyone anxious? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm doing a spoken word um, musical piece. Uh, it's called what's it called? Unraveling Minds in a a raveling moments in a torn mind. <laughs> and that's in a place called the isolation room. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I've heard excerpts from it and uh, it's wonderful. And um, so if anyone's in Sydney, make sure you get out there to see it. Um, so you're also working on a new body of work um, for a new good residency coming up with the Bundle on Trust. Yeah, I um, where I live is we have heaps of ibises. Is anyone here a friend of the ibis? Yeah. Good. There's not many of us around. 
people hate them, poor old bean chickens. <laughs> and um, so I, I'm looking at the ibis, and when I was in Venice, you wouldn't believe what flew in, but the most glamorous bird of all, the pink flamingo. <laughs> how, you know, how, how complete. So I'm looking at those two as um, images, plus um, uh, being ostracised and how, how you can feel with that. And that's sort of what I'm going to do at Bundan On. Yeah. yeah, so I'm busy. Okay. Great, thank you so much, Ward. Thank you. Thank you.